Hello legends, it is your boy Link and today is Ipswich Town versus Watford and we have a very special guest from the USA, Dr J. Hello. Excited for your first game? Yeah, yeah. We're going to win? Yeah, definitely. Let's see, the confidence is flowing. We're going to go to the fan zone because Jay's not been in the fan zone before so we're going to go check it out. So I picked up a new shirt. Come on, Ali, lad. The scouts are on our team. We're in the fan zone pre-game, having a beer. Now getting a burger. It cost me 13 quid, but have a look at that bastard. So if you've never lost one of the three turns out 23, and um, it's closed, so wish us luck. Watford fans in full voice, we've had a burger and stuff. Jay's enjoying himself, me, me and some of the legends and stuff, and yeah, we're getting ready for the game. Here comes the team. Are you excited, Jay? for the free kick in about 12 minutes in. Need some goals. Top bloke, Connor Chaplin. Town are now coming out for the second half. Still 0 no 0. -no. Must win game. There's been half chances, but the chances will come. I'm confident. Town will be the better side. Chances will come. The goal will come. Even Caden Jackson, we trust. The 66 minute town haven't created anything to age. Starting to worry. Here comes the scouser, it's time. Ali Al Hamadi Masterclass coming in. Harry Clark's going full Stoke City here. Can't press the building now.
they've just tried the log flag kick from like 35, 40 yards. And it's one of the best saves I've ever seen. Watford have a corner in the last seconds. Come on, Ipswich. Hang in there. No, no. Unlucky town. So I'm back at the Airbnb now where we're staying this week. Um, Jay had a great time. Really enjoyed the game. Even though it was no, no, he still enjoyed the atmosphere and like the chant and. And like the energy of the crowd was one of the things he like talked about. Um, he's gone to bed now because it's late, and we like we had had like a burger, but we hadn't had like a meal, so we just went to McDonald's and got a meal and stuff. Um, and then we watched first dates, which they don't have in America. So we I've been, been introducing Jay to like British staple television, so we've been watching Gogglebox and first dates. I mean, if there's any old UK shows that he needs to see while he's here. But I feel like maybe we should get him to watch Loose Woman, maybe. But um, the game was brilliant. It was so good. But it was also just... We didn't create the best chances. We had chances. And we had... Like, Kiefer Moore could have done better, I think, with one. But... It was just for the better team. But I didn't leave the game thinking, like... We really deserve to win that. Like, I feel like we slightly deserve to win it. And I think if we won it, it wouldn't have been an unfair result. But I I feel like it was tight enough that a draw was fair. Watford were happy with a draw as well. Like, you could tell they were happy because they kept the ball in the corner at the end. So, Watford were happy just to see it out. Um, <sighs> promotion is still on, though, because Ipswich are now... A point in front of Leeds with the same amount of games left. So if we match Leeds results, Ipswich Town will be promoted to the Premier League for the first time in 20 years. Which is just unreal and it should be celebrated that it's even possible. So um, I'm nervous for the rest of the season. I'm going Saturday as well, so we'll be vlogging a few days of that. But um. Yeah, I really enjoyed it today. It was cool to take Jay and, like, show Jay, like, the Alf Ramsey statue and stuff. And he's seen them before, but this time we had, like, time to talk about, like, who Alf Ramsey is, what he did, what he achieved, who Kevin Beatty is, who Bobby Robson is, who Jim McGilton is, who Pablo Cunago is. Um, I don't feel like you can put Cunago in the same sentence as them other people, or McGilton, maybe, but... They're people that I really liked growing up. Like, when I was a kid, Jim McGilton, Pablo Cunhago, that was my Ipswich team, that. Shefty Coochie, you know what I mean? That was the that was the, the Ipswich town era I grew up in. So, I have really, like, fond memories of it. Um, it's kind of like you always think, whoever was, like, cool when you were a kid, is, like, there's still, like, a nostalgia for it. Like, your favourite player as a kid is, like, always your favourite player, isn't it? So, um, yeah, I loved the game. It was great to take Jay. It was great to go hang out. And, you know, it was cool for him to meet some of the other people that watch the channel that come to the games and stuff. And um, everyone made him feel really welcome as well. So, thank you to all the Ipswich fans that Jay's seen this week. Like, for being so, like, hospitable and welcoming him and talking to him and um yeah everyone keeps asking him if he's one of the american investors he's not <laughs> he's not but that's what everyone's like oh you're one of the american investors he isn't but um it's been cool it's been awesome <sighs> i felt slightly deflated when i left because it was no, like a new draw but i feel like with my sensible will head on promotion is still really really possible I don't want to say likely, but possible. And heading into the last four games, there's only two home games left. I think Ipswich might do it. Like I genuinely do. 
and that'll be so special. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Also, Jay's coming to Lincolnshire next week. Well, Missy's going to hang out in like my part of the country where I live now. Um, we're going to take him around some of the like tourist stuff in Lincolnshire, and we'll vlog a bunch of it. I haven't really vlogged this week. I'm just vlogging the Ipswich games in Ipswich. But yeah, it's been fun. Thank you for watching. Thank you all for making Jay so welcome. As always, let me know your man of the match in the comments. Mine's probably Harry Clark, but I, no one massively stood out today, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, that's where we're at. But promotion is still hopefully coming real soon. All that's left to say is I've been Link, you've been my legends. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for all your support, as always. Thank you for all your love. And um, I'll see you all real soon. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. If you've enjoyed that, you can click up here and you can watch another video of mine. Or if you really love it, if you really, really love it, or even if you just like it a little bit, go down here and subscribe to the channel. It means you'll never, ever miss what is coming up real soon.